Notice that the script doesn't have any punctuation. It is literally a run on sentence. So am I just like, you know, a failure at, at English? No, quite the opposite. This is intentional because what one thing you've got to really, really work on here, and please listen up, very, very important, is you have to say the script in a way that does not allow or minimizes the opportunity for the prospect to interject and start to take control. For example, this is why we don't say, hey, is this Mrs. Jones? Because then I'm asking them a question to where they could take control, okay? Um, and, and also notice like the Facebook script, you said that your favorite hobby is watching Jerry Springer, right? If I had asked it that way, then what happens is, is that they say, yeah, but I'm not interested. And before you can start selling against the anxiety they have of seeing you, with you, seeing you, you they've now taken control, made a statement, and you're now on the defensive. So one of the things I think has helped us a lot, a lot out with my agents nationally that sell face-to-face -face, is we say the script in a way that does not allow for a pause to occur. And this is really important too. You And you'll hear me say this a million times today, but it's this critical. You got to record yourself going through the script. You should listen to how you're saying what you're saying to make sure that you're not pausing unnecessarily to where the client would interject prematurely. You don't want them to say anything after they say hello till you get to the bottom of the script and ask them what time you're coming, 10 o'clock or two. That's the only answer I care about. Every other answer I don't, I don't care. I don't want to know anything until I've said my piece and said what I need to say to convert this into an appointment. So it makes sense everybody. The other thing you wanna manage here too as well with this appointment setting script is to again, record yourself and listen to the pace in which you say it. For example, um, if you say the script like, and you're really nervous, you're really scared, you know, it's free, and that's normal if you are, it's completely normal. But if you start this process and you're like, uh, hey, Mr. Jones, my name is David Dufour and I'm calling about the green postcard you sent off in the mail a few weeks ago requesting, you're talking too fast. And the client's gonna be, be hard to actually try to keep up. It's like, what, huh, what are you talking about? And, the, and you're, you're talking too slow. Then you're gonna have to repeat yourself and the nerves are gonna cause you to kind of like, shut down, right? And you're not going to be as effective listening, reading, and reacting to what it is that you're hearing from the prospect. So make sure that you're deliberately slowing down what you're saying with each word that you're saying. You want to say it at a pace that's not slow, but not fast either. It should sound something like this. Hey, Mrs. Jones, my name is David Duford, and I'm calling about the green postcard you sent off in the mail a few weeks ago requesting information on our new state regulated final expense program. That pace is pretty good. That might even could be turned down just a slight bit, but that pacing is perfect. I'm pretty close to perfect. And the client's gonna be able to better understand what you're saying. There's two methodologies to reading the appointment. You can take the no bedside manner clinical approach like the doctor um, that you're just calling back, you're doing your job. There's kind of this air of authority, no BS in your voice. There's not a lot of inflections kind of like this. Or you can say it like I did. You kind of have a little bit of energy, a little bit of enthusiasm, and uh, you know you sound like you're happy to talk to him. You don't want to go over the deep end, of course, but there's a dichotomy between both of those. Either of those strategies and methodologies work. So my, my advice is kind of reflect on your own personality. Are you more deadpan? <laughs> Are you more clinical in disposition? You, should, you, you can say this with that kind of straightforward, hey, I'm here because you requested this information. I'm getting back to you because it's my job to deliver the information. Uh, but if you like are a little more maybe extroverted, I don't know, uh, you can say the, the uh, version that has a little bit more pep to your step, if you will.